Hey guys, Logan Battles here. So I just, yesterday I just got back from seeing uh, the movie Split. It stars James McVoy and Anya Taylor-Joy and a few other people in this film. It's a movie about, you know, this one character named Kevin and he has a very distinct uh, personality disorder. I believe it's the name of that disorder. And after he abducted three teenagers, he... Uh, came to his psychiatrist regularly af uh, for like, I think every day. He would just go to his psychiatrist and just uh, do this whole psych psychology thing that would help him with his personalities and stuff like that. You know, him not uh, him being much more than just one person. That's just basically how the movie goes. So what did I really thought about M. Night Shyamalan's uh, latest film? Split. I would say that it was fine. I mean, despite the higher ratings on Rotten Tomatoes, like 77 or 76%, I thought the movie was just okay. There are things I like about this film, and there are things I don't like about this film. Let's go into the things I like about this film. So I want to start off with James McAvoy as some of the characters in this film. Not just one, a whole bunch of characters. There are actually some pers some of his personalities. He was really good in this film. I honestly think he was the best part of this entire film. I really like James McAvoy in the X Men latest X Men films that he was in as Professor X, and I also I liked the main girl in this film, uh, Anya Taylor Joy. I believe I said her name right. Pretty good, although she didn't really get me as much as James McAvoy did in this film. James McAvoy was pretty much, you know, like I said, the best part of the movie. <laughs> but the scenes between uh, James McAvoy and the uh -oh, the woman who played Kevin's psychiatrist really were some of the best scenes in that particular film, in my opinion. Now, the whole scenes between James McAvoy and the three other teenagers, one of them... Anya Taylor-Joy uh, as Casey Cook and stuff like that. Some scenes like the whole kidnapping and stuff like that. I wasn't a big fan of that. I was actually more intrigued in, you know, the, the scenes between Kevin and this psychiatrist of his. And then the two other teenage girls in the film besides Anya Taylor-Joy, who I thought did a really good job. Not not too bad, not too shabby, but the two other girls, they don't really do much for me. I mean, they're barely in the film, but then again, they just didn't do anything redeeming that is pretty much a redeeming re a quality about them for me. I mean, the only redeeming qualities I have for those two girls are is that they're pretty, uh, they look pretty, they got pretty hair and pretty face and stuff and stuff like that. That's all I got for them. Other than that, they're just not that good in this film. I mean, they never grown on me. Anya Taylor-Joy pretty much grown on me. I thought the casting was pretty decent, but the story, the story felt out of place. The story was so out of place and convoluted at the same time. Uh, the story uh, didn't really make any sense, especially in the second half of the movie. I mean, the first half the story was written well, but then in the second half, it wasn't. And it also felt like you, you're not invested into the story. The whole story never made any sense and was pretty much out of place. That's one of the problems I have with Split. Another problem I have with Split is the pacing. The pacing, even though it's not really boring, like, you know, some movies that I've watched would sometimes usually bore me at some parts of it. This movie never really made me bored, um, although I do felt like there were some parts that, felt, that I felt like were a little bit too long, felt like they should have been cut short and stuff like that. That's another one of my problems with this movie. And my biggest biggest issues with this movie are well, some of the scenes do have something to do with James McAvoy. The scenes in this film never really were that necessary. I will not spoil what happened in those scenes uh, for you. I'll just let you see it for what they are. Uh, uh, but I will say that those scenes, unnecessary scenes, that if I may, 
happen near the end of the film. That's basically all I will say, the ending. A lot of people kept praising about the ending of this movie, and I'm not agreeing with that. The ending of this film makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Maybe I didn't see closely enough for what the ending was really all about, because the ending of that film, to me, makes no sense whatsoever. It was very confusing. Like, what, what the heck just happened in that ending? So yeah, guys, overall, I thought the performances from actors and actresses such as James McAvoy and Anya Taylor-Joy and this woman who played, like, Kevin's psychiatrist were pretty, were really good. You know, James McAvoy, Anya Taylor, and the woman, uh, old woman were pretty decent. And the characters, or at least some of them, were, were pretty decent as well. But the story, the pacing and some unnecessary scenes near the end of the film could have been done better. Oh, and the ending. I forgot about the ending. So I ended up very disappointed in this film. I don't think it was terrible. I'm not saying it is terrible. I'm just saying that it's not a really great movie. It's just not. I am giving Split a Silver Medal of Honor. Yeah, I'm giving this movie a Silver Medal of Honor simply because there were parts that I enjoyed and there were other parts that I didn't enjoy about this movie. And I've already given you my issues and some redeeming qualities to me about this movie. So anyway guys, that is my review for Split. If you guys enjoyed this video, or my review for Split, please click the like button, and if you have seen Split, comment down below to let me know what you think of it. Did you love it, or were you just okay with it, or do you hate it? And if you enjoy what you've seen here and you want to see future videos from me, please click the subscribe button so that you never miss a video. I will see you guys next week with a brand new video. Have a great week, Battle Squad, and as always, fight the good fight. Peace.